This shot has a major problem. If you look into the sky, you see all of this banding. Now this shot is from an adventure film that I just finished and I posted a few days ago, all around my trip to Death Valley. And in this project, I had a lot of really complicated color grades because out in Death Valley, you have this stark contrast between super bright highlights and super dark shadows. And so when you start pushing your colors around and doing a color grade, parts of the image will break apart. Now this shot was filmed on the DJI Mavic 3 and I don't have the Cine version, so I'm not using Apple ProRes. And you're limited, even with a 10-bit camera, you can still push the image too far and you'll have issues like this where the sky has this crazy banding in it. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to fix a problem like this in your color grades. And if you're new here to this channel, my name is Jevin Dovey and on this channel, I'm gonna teach you how to make better videos. And one of my passions is making adventure films like this, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. Now let's take a look at this shot. So I have the sequence here where we're traveling across the desert and we get to the Trona Pinnacles. And the Trona Pinnacles is this really interesting place in California and I wanted to have this super strong contrast to show the shadows and the highlights when we were in this space. And you'll see at this moment where the problem is happening, I have an adjustment layer and on this adjustment layer, I have a custom LUT that is my Mavic 3 conversion. Now this takes my footage from log to a standard look. It's still not perfect because with every shot you do have have to do modifications when you're converting it from log to a color grade. And also in this adjustment layer, I added some saturation with this plugin. Now, the reason I'm using an adjustment layer is because I'm trying to affect all of these clips that I used for this part of the sequence. They're all shot in log and they're all shot from the Mavic 3 at around the same time frame. So I'm using an adjustment layer with the base conversion and some saturation that's just going to affect all the clips. Now from here, each shot I have to go in and color grade independently. So on this specific shot, I added a color curve and I added a pretty strong S curve. Now an S curve will make the highlights brighter and the shadows darker. And a lot of times if you just want that cinematic look, adding an S curve makes a huge difference. So when I added that S curve, it started causing issues in the highlights and that's where I have all this banding. So we need to fix this banding and what we're gonna do is mask off this section and add a blur. Now one thing I wanna mention is that using this method only works on areas of your footage where it's not the focus because we are gonna be blurring part of your image. This is gonna help when you have things like banding in the sky or tons of noise in your shadows, basically areas that are not the main focus of the video. If you have a crazy issue like banding or noise or color blocking happening on your subject, well, this isn't really gonna help you fix it, but this will help in a lot of situations where there is an issue in the sky and it's just completely distracting for the viewer who's watching the video. So I'm gonna use what's called a mask. So we're gonna add this to a different timeline just so we could see this by itself. And I wanna duplicate this shot and add it on top. And the reason is we are gonna use a mask and only affect a certain part of the image. So in Final Cut, I have all of these different mask options and depending on which color grading program you're working in, you'll just have to find where the mask option is. So this is where you can select part of the image and the rest of the shot is not affected. So an easy way to do this is turn off the shot that's underneath and let's just adjust the shot that's on top. So I'm gonna draw a mask around the problem area by just using these control points and I want to just select this one area. Now, what I'm gonna do is feather it because I don't want the edges to be super harsh. We wanna blend this into the rest of the footage. Now, I'm gonna zoom in so we could see the issue that's happening up here in the sky really close. And you can see that we have all this banding going on. So I'm gonna pull up an effect. I'm gonna use a Gaussian blur and I'm gonna add it to this shot. Now, as you can see, when I added that Gaussian blur, it completely removed all the banding. So I'm gonna take off this blur until I start seeing those bands, and then I'm gonna bring the blur back up until they're completely gone. I only want this effect to be as strong as it absolutely has to be. I don't want it to completely blur the image because effectively what we're doing is we're creating a little bit of blur in this problem section and it makes things like noise or banding go away so you don't see it. However, if you put this on too strong, it'll just look like you blurred the image. So let's zoom back out to 25%. Let's turn on this bottom shot and let's play this back and we can play this back. And it looks like there's still a little bit of a banding issue. So I'm gonna turn up the Gaussian blur just a little bit more. And now some of these edges do look a little blurred around the clouds. So I'm gonna readjust my mask. I'm gonna go back in here 
grab the mask and just readjust this so that I don't see those clouds blurred. Because when you have a shot where everything's super clear, but then you have this weird blurring happening on edges around the problem area, it'll be noticeable. When you're doing a cleanup like this, you wanna make it hidden so people don't notice that you fixed that part of the image. And so once we've cleaned up all these control points, we can readjust the Gaussian blur if we need to. And now we have a shot where we fix the banding in the sky. Now, if you wanna learn my complete step-by-step -step process on how I do creative color grades, I just released a new class over on Skillshare. If you've never signed up for Skillshare before, you can get 30 days for free using the link down below in the description. And this class goes through everything about color grading, what tools to use, what things to look for, and how to create creative color grades that are gonna look better on your footage. Now, if you haven't seen this video that I shot on my trip through Death Valley, well, check it out right here. It was a crazy trip. My brakes broke down in the middle of Death Valley, but it was still a ton of fun to make. So I'll catch you on the next video.